Hi guys, bit of an interesting one for you today. Thought I'd share this. Been asked by some guy to weld this propeller back together. Came off a crashed aircraft and I think as a matter of course they cut the blades off just so you can't straighten it out and ship it off to some third world country and say, here mate, there's a new prop for your DC-10. Um, but he wants it as an ornament so he's asked if I'll try sticking it back together. So what I'm going to do is, or what I've started doing, is pinning it with some short dowels and I've tacked this one already at each end and V'd it out um, and hopefully my welder will uh, weld it up because it's pretty tough aluminium this, it's, it's hard it's fancy stuff, it rings almost like steel. Um, I don't know what it came off, but it's been sitting in a barn for ages. So I'm going to give it a go with my spool gun, and just some ordinary aluminium wire, and see what happens. And this is what I started with, or how I started. Got a couple of short stainless steel dowels in. I know I'm not supposed to use stainless and alley, but I don't think it'll matter on this job. And this is what I'm doing to the blade, so that they slot together. So let's give it a go. I'll get the gun out. See what happens. You'll see I'm going at forwards and at quite a steep angle. Now I've got this turned up quite high. It's nice that this is nice and thick, these blades, so I can really give it some beans and blast the wire in. So there's a bit needs doing on the beginning. A bit of crater. Get this camera off the tripod. We'll have a look. See what it looks like. Nothing fancy. That's blasted in there. So all I have to do now, grind her off and see what she looks like. I started off with an ordinary grinder and then finished off with some 80 grit flap disc. Blended it in either side and you'd hardly know where it was where it was joined really. I think by the time that's painted up and tidied up that'll look nice. So, better get on with the rest of them then. And here's the next one. A bit bigger V on this one, so I've had to wander with this one a little bit. Bit of a zigzag. Just to fill up the, the V. And there we are completed. All three done. It's actually turned out quite big. I think I'm going to get it back in my truck to take it back to the bloke. So I'm going to think he'll have to come and collect it. I reckon that'll look quite nice once that's cleaned up, tidied up, painted, hanging on someone's wall somewhere. Nice little memento. So, thanks for watching.